Mommy's face when the referee raised his hand up and said he was the winner. I don't think I will ever forget that as long as I live. I felt like I was in the movies, you know? I mean, the crowd was screaming and cheering and everybody was taking our picture and... You know, Blackie, it might be um, easier to ask somebody to pass that to you. Hmm. I can't wait till Johnny gets back home. No. Yes. <laughs> Very smooth, Blackie. Very smooth. Your tea all over my eggs. Thank you very much. What is with you, man? Have you ever heard the term table manners? Yeah, so what? He's talking with his mouth full now. Well, it may be better if you don't talk at all, okay? I can't, uh, I can't digest my food with a foaming at the mouth. All right, yeah. enough. Thank you Why don't very we much. Oh, just tone things down a wee bit, okay? He keeps interrupting me. What did I say? Pass, pass the juice, please. Please, please, right. Uh, please, you listen. Got Guys, my stomach, not to mention my head, is not going to be able to take this today. Enough basta. Plenty fine. Thank you. Can I help it if I am excited that Johnny is going to... Amy, what did Leslie just say? I think that there should be a parade, you know? Kind of like they had for the astronauts. There she goes again. She never stops. I'm telling you, this girl never stops talking. No, well... This is a WKPC news update. Ken Dobbins from General Hospital. I mean, after all, Johnny is only here to see me. Still no official statement concerning the condition of the executive staff at the Star Nightclub. Police are still searching for nightclub owner Luke Spencer and business partner Holly Sutton. It's feared that Spencer is holding Sutton hostage. Oh. I don't want to hear any more of that. What do you have? Do you really think Luke did it? Oh, now I know she's crazy. She's nuts. This one. Good Lord, how could this happen? Well, it was a pretty deep wound. How to tell the real extent of the damage? The press, Mark. They're wanting a statement. Oh, come on, Steve. What am I going to tell the press? I know. I know. It's critical, that's what it is. I don't know how long it's going to be. It's going to be day, week, months. Maybe. All our skills, all our technology. There's nothing we can do now, Steve, but wait. Oh, where do you think you're going? Well, I think I'm going on board my boat. Sorry, buddy. All right, what's been going on around here? Well, you can read, can't you? Sure, I can read. I've also been out of the country now. Is my partner, Luke Spencer, in there? You're not the only one who wishes he was. Look, officer, my name is Robert Scorpio. I'm part owner of the boat. I'm also a member of the World Security Bureau. Oh, wait a minute. Look, I don't care if you're J. Edgar Hoover reincarnated. Nobody gets past that sign. There was an attempted murder here last night. What? And the radio said. It doesn't mean it, it's true. I didn't say that he did it. Yes, you did. You practically said that Luke stabbed Dan Rooney. That's what you said. I was only asked. Oh, yeah? Well, you're asking the same thing. No, there is a big difference, Parrish. I'll say there is a big difference, man. Anytime you say he did it, I'm going to tell you you're crazy, okay? Because he did Rick, not do it. Rick, Leslie, do I have to listen to this? Would the two of you be quiet? I didn't say that... I didn't... I didn't say that Luke was guilty. You practically did. You practically said he stabbed... I'm not going to listen to her say this about Luke, okay? He's my buddy. Anyone talks bad about him, I'm, I'm not going to listen to it. Well, I'm not going to sit here and listen to you. Good, good. I ain't even hungry. I'm not Great. hungry. The cozy, heartwarming family sort of start to the day. Leslie, they are both worried about Dan and about Luke. Everybody's worried. Everybody doesn't express it by attacking one another. I thought he was going to go after her with a knife if she didn't get to him with a fork first. Leslie, come on. I mean it. Rick, those two are not going to be able to coexist under one roof. They communicate differently. That's... Ah, is that what it is? Silly old me. I thought they just couldn't stand each other. They will adjust to each other. And I will talk to Blackie, okay? Yeah, you better. Amy may not be the easiest person to get along with first thing in the morning, but he is impossible. I mean, it's arms, elbows, grunts, that's I'm it. I'm going to talk to him. I wish you would. I will. 
Ah, oh, do you know what I get to do now? What? I get to go off to work without having had my breakfast, because if I don't leave right now, I'll be late. I sure hope the rest of the day turns out better than this morning has started. Have a good one. I intend to. So when are you going to talk to Blackie? I am going to do that later because I do not intend to have my breakfast disturbed. I'm going to sit here very quietly, calmly, and eat. I think I hate you. Bye. Oh, Reginald Oliver. Oh, good morning. I didn't expect to see you this early. Oh, didn't Bethel say we were coming? No. But no matter, I, I'm delighted that you're here. Sit down. Finish your breakfast. It's okay. We must uh, talk. Would you, uh... I was just finished. Would you like some coffee? Uh, no, thank you. Oliver? You must keep your strength up, Charles. Oh, I'm feeling fine. Thank you. Now, about this, uh... This business at the Star. Shouldn't we wait for Basil? Yes. Where is he? Well, he's having a breakfast conference with the mayor. Ah, yes. He did mention something about that, as I recall. Yes, the mayor's interest pleases me. I believe he wishes to rent equipment from Corso Oil. Yes. If and when the uh, city test uh, pans out. Yes, but... Uh, it's very clever of you to uh, suggest that. I must congratulate you. Well, thank you, but uh, at the moment, I'm really concerned about something more serious. It's this... this happening at the, at, at the Star. You see, when we started this operation, we had an understanding, a very clear understanding, that there would be no violence. Mr. Spencer has uh, got to learn to control his temper. Oh, now, please, <laughs> Reginald, don't insult my intelligence. We all know what happened there. Split seconds and an innocent man can be done. Yes, pity. Oh, he's in a coma. His condition is critical. I just heard it on the radio. Yeah, Rooney was his name, wasn't it? Yes, Dan Rooney. He's an administrator at the hospital. You see, there was no need. I will have that coffee now you mentioned. You must let this little affair upset you, Charles. Yeah, I cannot condone violence. No one hates it more than I do. Well, then we mustn't allow it. Look, since I have been with the family, I've made my position clear. Violence has no part in any of our operations. It never has, and as far as I'm concerned, it never will. Yes, well, circumstances are somewhat different now. What? Namely, Luke Spencer. Yes, so besides that, we have more pressing problems. We have to find Holly. We've got to conclude this business at once. Holly. Dr. Dante just examined him. He's going to be all right, isn't he? I can't answer that, Ruby. Oh, he's got to be. Can I see him? No, it's not going to do any good. He's, he's in a coma. Uh, sometimes when they get better, I mean, he might remember that I was there. Ruby, his chances are very slim. Don't say that. Well, we have to face facts. He's an older man, and he's not responding very well. There has to be something that you can do. For the moment, we can't do a thing. We just have to wait. I'm sorry. Keep me posted on Dan. Yeah, all right, sir. Oh, uh, I almost forgot, Mark. Uh, Audrey asked me to invite you to our house uh, tonight for a little uh, Labor Day get-together. Oh, that was, I, I forgot it was, uh, I forgot it was holiday. Yeah, so did I, until Audrey reminded me. Now, she also said you, you're welcome to bring someone along, if you wish. Mm-hmm. Okay, I may do that. Thanks, Steve. It's been quite an initiation for you, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it has. I'm, I admit I'm not clear about something. I don't get it. Hey, there's just this trouble between Dan and Lucas. It's, it must be connected to the hospital. We invested a lot of money in Luke's oil venture. I just hope that nothing's wrong. Was Dan against this investment? Well, he was away when the hospital board decided to invest. We probably should have waited. I'm sorry, Steve. I wish I could help. I wish. 
I wish to heck I could figure out what's going on. My old man. Hey, what are you doing? That's a table. The table was meant to have flowers and magazines, but not feet. Oh, well, Amy tells me how to eat. You tell me how to sit. I'm going crazy in here. I'm going nuts. Hey, I'm telling hey, you. Hey, hey, We would just like a little civility, okay? Well, a small okay. amount of civility, but some civility in this house. Well, if that means listening to Amy, I ain't going for her, okay? So you can just forget it. It means listening to someone, even if you don't necessarily agree with their opinion, you listen to them and you give them the respect for that opinion. Hey, I don't care who it is, especially Amy. I ain't listening to her put down Luke. No way. Amy, when she does think, thinks out loud. Well, Amy doesn't think. All she does is talk, 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 talk. She drives me nuts. Yeah, well, that is one of her idiosyncrasies, yes. What? And that's a personal quirk makes Amy, Amy. Well, I don't know how you stand it. Well, it is very difficult. However, she does live in this house. She is part of the family, and I like her. Well, she drives me nuts. I would think that she uh, feels the very same way about you. Well, I don't care what she thinks. And you know what else? She's going to think twice when she shoots her big mouth off to me next time. Well, maybe next time you might find a better and a different way of getting her to listen. I ain't buttering up. I ain't kissing up to that girl. I, that's not what I'm talking about. Just give her some breathing space and try to find out where she's coming from. Oh, I know where she's coming from. She's coming from Wackosville. That's where she's from. She's hey, nobody's great. perfect. No one is perfect. We all have little things that we do that gripe. People, especially we're in the close confines of a, a close-knit family. I told you I wasn't going to fit in. Blackie, that's because you're not really trying. Well, just because uh, I told Amy to shut up, I'm not trying? It's not what you say. It's how you say it. It's what you think. It's your attitude. Oh, man, here we go with the attitude again. Attitude. Always coming at me with this attitude thing. Don't attack her. She isn't an enemy. Well, she ain't my friend. Blackie, do me a favor. Try to control yourself. Not Amy. And try to control your temper. Hey, look, Doc, I appreciate everything you're doing for me. I mean, I really do. I mean, you sprung me out of jail. You, uh, you give me a great place to live here and everything like that. But you can't change me. I am who I am. I'm not trying to change you. I'd just like to give you a little conduct, a few manners, and some social behavior. That's all. Yeah, okay. Well, I know she's your daughter and everything, okay? I know she's your daughter, and I'm trying to be nice to her. But she's just driving me crazy. It's not just a matter of being nice or being polite. It's a matter of of communicating and giving each other breathing room. Right, Trusting uh, yourself so okay. you can trust other people. I blew it, okay? I blew it. I'm sorry, all right? Now, what more do you want from me? I don't want anything, Blackie. I just would like to see this house run a little quieter and maybe in the morning at breakfast instead of having a battle and then later sword play over dinner. Quiet. Okay, you got calm. your point across. Is that quiet? Is that calm? Okay? Yeah. Now, what else you want to talk about? I got something in mind. Why don't you sit down? Sit down. Let's see. You got something else. Yes. Now, let's see. I put my feet on the desk. You talked to me about that. You told me how to eat. You told me about my manners. What's left? Oh, the rest of your life. Oh, jeez. Maybe a break. specifically your future. And as to a break, the judge gave you a break when he put you into my custody. All right. Well, what are you talking about now? What do you want? How about uh, college? Have you thought about that? Too busy. I don't have time to think about it. Then make time, Blackie. I'm going to get to the hospital. It would be very convenient for me if we could continue this conversation over there about 4.30. Is that good for you? Yes, sir. That's perfect for me. I'll be there, sir. 4.30. Yes, sir. Good. Thank you. I'm going crazy. I just don't believe this whole mess. Well, the whole thing is just happening faster than anything you can believe. It's all compound. It's you. Oh. Well, who did you think it was? <sighs> Well, you never know these days, right? What are you guys doing here anyway? It's a holiday. What are you doing here working? I'm getting caught up in some of the work I've got to do, and then I'm going to go to the hospital for my training well, session. Well, we just were looking for a quiet place to get together and talk this thing over. I hope you can make some sense out of all this. Well, that's the go. Well, listen, coffee's on. I've got to get back to work. Help yourselves. Yeah. Welcome back. Bro. What a great homecoming. Thank you. I'll do the honors. OK, now let me get this straight. Oh. Leave it there. Now, Luke and Dan were having an argument. A very heated argument. Well, did you hear about it? What was it all about? Well, it was pretty noisy, but I heard a few things here and there. Well, such as? Uh, something about a swindle. Well, who said that, Luke or Dan? I don't know. They were both yelling. Well, keep going. Come on. Well, it all happened so fast. I mean, everyone turned around. The next thing I knew, Dan was on the floor. What about Luke? Standing there holding the knife. Just standing there? I don't know. You... He was just sort of staring at it. Well, how was the blade, up or down? Blade down. But Robert, 
he looked just as shocked as everyone else. Okay, then what? Then it just got insane and crazy. Everyone was running around and screaming. Yeah, well, so's this whole dumb idea of Luke stabbing anybody. Yeah, but why did he and Holly run? That's just one more thing we have to figure out. Look, let's let's forget about Luke and Holly, all right? Let's start with Dan now. What could they have been talking about? I don't know, but how do we find out? We backtrack. We've got to find that everything that happened to Dan Rooney prior to that argument. Now, there's got to be somebody or something that can give us a clue in here. Well, look, keep me posted. I'm going to go back and get some work done, okay? Yeah. There is something. There is something that just flashed on my mind. What? Well, about two days ago, Dan asked me if I knew a fingerprint expert. Really? Yeah, I remember it chiding him at the time about playing detective. Oh, did he say what for? No, no. But what he did say was that if everything turned out, he would tell me what for. You may be onto something. What did you do? I gave him Les Ferguson's name. Uh, can you call him? Yeah, I'm a little bit ahead of you, as a matter of fact. Yeah, it was the only thing... He was so mysterious at the time. What on earth would Dan Rooney want with a fingerprint? Expert? That's what we're gonna have to find out, with a little bit of Lester's help. He's kind of an eccentric, but, uh, He's got a phone in his shop. No, he's not answering. Doesn't look like we're gonna get his help. Well, that figures. This is supposed to be a holiday, isn't it? For most people, yeah. Okay, well, you and I are gonna take it literally and labor all bloody day if we have to. Without Les Ferguson's help, aren't we? Well, I'll get in touch with him first thing in the morning. Okay, so I see we've got two things going for us. What about Luke? Mm, forget Luke. He can take care of himself. It's uh, Dan Rooney I'm worried about right now. Look, I think we'd better hightail it over to the hospital and make sure they've got a bit of tight security on him. Yeah, he could end up like Buster real dead real quick. <laughs> This is. Don't worry, Johnny will be home soon and then we'll feel better. You want to go out for dinner tonight? Oh, gosh, I didn't even think about dinner. Oh. Yeah, well, the thought of eating dinner with Blackie Parrish really grosses me out. I know it does, Amy, but we've got to give the kid a chance. I'd like to give the kid a gag. Perhaps we should invest in two of them. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Photograph right there. Oh, Leslie, I was hoping I'd run into you. Listen, how are things at your house? Well, they're fine. Why? I'm thinking of moving in. Oh. Well, well, I think I have a better solution. You want Amy instead? No, I want all of you for dinner tonight. All of us? All of you. I mean, after all, it is Labor Day, and we've been working all day. I thought it'd be nice to get together this evening. Nothing fancy, just good times with old friends. Yeah, but you have to cook. I've done that already. All of Tommy's favorite things, including leg of lamb. I don't even have hamburgers in oh, my house. Oh, good. Please say you'll come. I mean, this is the first Labor Day that Tommy's been home in ages. <laughs> well, that would be a nice way to celebrate. And it would probably be the best thing I could do for myself to visit with friends. Cheer me up. We all need a bit of that, don't we? Not with this terrible business with Dan. I just hate it, Audrey. And you must be worried sick about Luke. I can't even let myself think about well, it. Well, then, please say you'll come. And you know, it may, uh, may do her a world of good, too. There are going to be some young people there. Uh, Steve's trying to round them up for Tommy, actually. I mean, he's been gone so long, it'll be good for him. Well, it sounds terrific. I'm sure we'd all love it. Oh, good, then. I will tell Steve, and the more the merrier. Well, we may have one extra. Oh, is Johnny back? Uh, no, would she look like that if Johnny were back? Oh, yeah, well, well whoever it is, please bring him along. Blackie Parrish. Well, that'd be perfect. Blackie? Well, he and Tommy are about the same age, aren't they? Well, yeah. Yeah. I better check with Amy. Oh, that's true. She may have other plans. <laughs> Amy Kate, darling. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. We have been invited uh, to a party, a dinner, at the Hardy's house tonight. Great! All of us. Does that mean what I think it means? Our house guests, too. Well, I didn't know that Blackie was staying with you. Well, I don't know for how long. Now, Amy, I told Leslie to please bring him along. I think he and Tommy are going to get along famously. She's thrilled. I can tell. Yeah. And the other sites? Well, everything's been taken care of. And you can rely on this foreman? Oh, he's done a splendid job for us, yes. That's amazing. We pump, 
water into all these sites, right under their noses, and nobody notices. <laughs> well, we can assume that Charles and Basil have chosen the right man for the job. Oh, thank you. Yes, yeah, so and with each new site, we get a little more newspaper coverage. Just what we need. Now, we've got to keep this oil boom going at a high pitch. Well, the entire town is involved. There's no doubt about that. Yes, well, all we need to do is keep the salt water pumping until we find Holly. Then we clean out that corporate account just exactly the way we planned. Not quite. Even as we're speaking, I have a few doubts. Certainly not about Holly. No, she's done a superb job. You've taught her well. Well, she's the one who deserves the credit, not I. Still, there have been a few setbacks. We've lost uh, a lot of time. Reginald, there's always the unforeseen. You Please, don't be uh, defensive. I'm sorry. This project has cost the family far more than we anticipated. I'm beginning to think that a wiser course of action would be to cut our losses and avoid any further complications. The stabbing incident has caused a grave threat to the family. Yeah, but we've got to maximize our profits. We've got to get what we can. No. Oh, now, don't push me, Reginald. You'll leave me no choice. Uh, maybe a brandy would help. Help what? <laughs> the tension. We stand to lose everything. Yes, including familial pride. Now, I'm sure I speak for Charles. And for Holly and this tour. And Basil feels the same way I do. Now, that's where you're wrong. Now, we've got a job to do. He knows that. And if I don't agree? Oh, now, I beg your pardon. Now, look. We could give the go-ahead to the foreman to pump some more salt water into even more new sites. Now, look, we could even have a new phony gusher. All right, I'll concede this round. <laughs> That's a relief. I just have one phone call I need to make. Oh, I'll let Basil take care of that. No, I'm perfectly capable. I'm sure you are, but we need you to concentrate on Holly. She must be found. Strength. Determination. Those are qualities I've always associated with you. Don't yourself. It's only the family that I'm concerned with. Now, we have some important, urgent matter to attend to. Look, Bert, I want guards over here, all right? You cannot leave Dan Rooney unprotected. What do you mean, you off? <laughs> look, that's dumb and you know it. Sure, look, I don't give a damn. I'll tell him he's standing right here. Yeah, it's wrong. Look, whoever tried to kill Dan is going to try again. Now, you and I both know it isn't Luke. We also both know that we need a few guards in here. Look, I don't care, and I'm not even interested in how many people you've got out in the street. I want to know how many people you're going to get in here. So get a few over here, all right? Yeah, look, yeah, sure. I'll keep in touch. Oh, listen, Bert. If Luke's on the run, I think he's a match for your boys. So you better call up a few reserves. Steve, uh, Bert tells me that you refuse police protection for Dan. That's right. Dan's quite safe. It's Luke they're after the police, so he certainly won't show up here. Look, it's not Luke you've got to worry about. It's whoever originally knifed Dan, and it certainly wasn't Luke. Well, it's hard to believe he would do anything like that, but why on earth did he run? Yeah, well, we haven't quite figured that out yet, but uh, Joe and I are working on the basis that whoever did it is going to try again. Now, certainly in, in Dan's current state, he's a sitting target. I can't have this place looking like an armed camp. Fine. It's happened too often already. Just use plain clothesmen. Well, all right, if you feel that strongly, have Ramsey send someone, but not in uniform. Fine, you won't be sorry, I promise you. I'll make the call myself. Right. Uh, first, I want to see Dan. That's, that's out of the question. The man's in a coma. I won't allow you to go in there. Is that clear? Yeah. Remember, just the guards. That's all. Yeah. Did you see Well, we've just been told in no uncertain terms that it's out of the question. I struck out, too. Ian's out of town for the holidays. He's not going to be back until tomorrow. So much for holidays. Well, what do we do now? Well, I'm going back to the Star. The uh, police people should be finished by now. Uh, would you like to come? Thanks, but I'm going to get back to the office and finish that rewrite. I'm going to make the call to Ramsey, and I'll wait here till he sends somebody over here. Oh, come. You'll have a good time. You'll enjoy yourself. I would rather stay home.
Maybe Johnny will call me. You're going to the party. Johnny can call you later. Well, you all are arguing. No, no, no. We were discussing a party to which we have all been invited. Oh, yes. The Hardys are having a Labor Day celebration, and our invitation includes all of the family and Blackie. Blackie, yes. Well, Blackie was supposed to meet me here, and I don't see him. He's late. We were going to finish a little discussion we were having. If you're going to wait for him, would you walk me to the cafeteria? I just want to get something to drink. Well, sure, I'd love to. If you see him, you tell him to wait right here. I'd like to tell him... Uh, Dr. Dante? Yes. yes. Um, is there any word on Dan Rooney? No change. Oh, I mean, I was hoping... I mean, is he still in a coma? You know, I should post an hourly bulletin about his condition. I keep getting asked so much, I don't have any time for work. Well, in that case, I'd better not even say hello. Well, look who's here. Just the lady I was about to call. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the Hardys are having um, a little get-together tonight, a little Labor Day thing. Would you like to go? Well, the diner's closed, so I don't have any good excuse oh, for not to come, so I might as well. I'd love to. Thank that's right. Okay. What time? About seven? Seven would be fine. Got it. See you then. See ya. Rose. Hello. Rose. Rose. Yeah. Um, what was that? You know, Dr. Dante? What? I will, do you know what's going on? I mean, you gotta... Oh, something. my, I'm late for my train. Hi, Rose. Hi. Well, did it go up anywhere? Nope. Oh, God. Many Give an inch and he takes a mile. Oh, yeah. oh, you are gonna defend Blackie Parrish. No, no. No, I was just commenting, and I would like to point out that I was the person who said he's going to be a problem. I'm not going to give up. Well, don't then, but perhaps you should perhaps just lower your expectations a notch or two. No, I think he should raise his sights. I'm going to go look for him. Um, Bye. What about the Hardys? I will be at the Hardys just as soon as I find Blackie. Hi, Donna. Whoa, hold your horses, kid. Hey, I know you. I probably met at the police station or something, big deal. Yeah, what are you doing here? I work here. Tell me another one. I work here. Now, what do you want from me? All right, I believe you, but uh, you can't get past, past this sign. Now, come on, man. I gotta go do my work. My boss is coming. Will you let me just go in? I can argue with the little Blackie. Oh, good Robert's here. Now, this guy owns half of the boat. You're not gonna let him in either? Everybody. Not until my men finish. Forget it. Come on, we can wait. It's good to see you here. Did you hear about Dan Rooney? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, what do you know about all of this? I know everything. 